I'm going to be tying is a redfish fly, a pattern originally shown to me by Don Reed from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, with the saltwaterflyfishing.com, I think that's what it is. And uh, it's effective redfish pattern, it's very simple to tie, it only requires a couple of materials. This is the Pugula or Pugulisi wire brush. We're using a tannish, light tannish color with the flash in it. Red cactus chenille and dyed blue fox. This is sort of a golden tan, golden color. And monofilament eyes, you can substitute weighted eyes if you want. It's a simple pattern. The weighted eyes will change the motion. Uh, first off, go ahead and take the thread. I use black thread, thread color. If you want to match the fly, that's fine too. Just run the thread back to the bend of the hook. And then bring it back up about, oh, let's say, quarter of an inch from the eye of the hook and we're going to take the monofilament eye <laughs> just not a large eye and we're going to figure eight it on the hook on the top of the hook not the bottom check it out even it up and tie it in Once you've got your eye set and it's firm, you can put a little glue on that if you want to to hold it in. Remember to let it dry. We're going to bring the thread back to the back of the tail and cut the tail, which will be, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch bunch. Not overly fluffy. You don't want too much tail because it's going to move in the water. and. If you didn't have the blue fox, I mean, you could probably use marabou. Marabou is going to give it a little more movement, a little more fluff, but there's no reason if the substitution can't be done. So we're going to cut that tail, and it's going to be with the longest tips, probably twice as long as the hook shank. I'm using the number two hook here, standard length. I don't use 2x. And I don't want to use short because we need enough room to put the materials on in the wraps. So we'll lay the tail in on top of the hook, couple of wraps, tighten it down, then adjust it if you need to adjust it so it's all on the top of the hook. Trim it off a little bit if necessary. That way you can taper down and just go ahead and cover the whole thing with the thread. Don't worry that I'm using black thread. You won't be able to see the thread through the fly. All right, so we've got the tail on now. The next step, red cactus chenille. We're going to use a few wraps of this, and as you're wrapping, you want to pull back on the chenille to get it set. All right, so we've got her set in. As you're pulling it around, pull to the back. Send up. Make about four wraps. Tie it off. And then trim it. Pull it back. Finish off the end to taper it down a little bit. Now we're going to add the wire brush dubbing. You want this loose, tie it right in against the chenille, 90 degree angle. Bring your thread forward. I'm going to brush it out to expand it, make sure I've got the Hands out, and I'm going to start wrapping. I'm going to, as I wrap, I'm going to pull back towards the back end of the fly. I want to get some of this over the 
red uh, cactus chenille. And thicken up the body, and as you'll notice, that body started to taper. It's heavier at the back end than it will be at the front end. So this will give it a, a crab or shrimp look. You're just trying to get a silhouette. Run it in front of the eyes, continue to pull back. Wrap it all the way to the eye. And just cut off. Wrap it. Okay. Finish off the head. I'm going to whip finish. Trim off a little excess here. Clear the eye in this case. Glue it. Head cement. All right, and there's the entire fly.